In these series of videos, we're going to show you how to use a Clubboy CB4 to lift roof panels. Uh, we're going to show you configurations that allow you to lift roof panels up to 14 meters long and up to 20 degrees roof pitch. If for some reason your panels are longer than 14 meters, or if the roof pitch is steeper than 20 degrees, you need to refer to a separate set of videos. When the machine arrives on site, it will be packed into a transport cradle, exactly as shown here. The cradle will contain all the components you need to lift the roof panels that you've told us you're going to lift. If you think something's missing, please tell us as soon as possible. Please take note of how the machine's packed away in the cradle. When you finish with the machine, it's your responsibility to pack it away exactly as it's delivered. If it's not packed away, transport may incur extra charges when we collect the machine after hire, and there's also a risk that components can be damaged in the transport system. So please take careful note of how the machine's packed away. So Neil and Gabe are going to come into shot now, and we're going to assemble this, uh, first of all, into its basic roof configuration, which is suitable for roof panels up to 10 meters long. So we're just removing the extension arms from the cradle, slotting them into the machine. making sure the suction hoses are on the side of the extension arms and that the pins are secured with the R clips. And we're putting the cross pieces with the suction pads on the end of those extension arms. And that is the configuration for a standard basic roof kit, the extension arms both sides approximately two and a half meters apart and that will allow you to lift roof panels up to 10 meters long. Obviously there will be safety straps which will be inserted at the end of the extension arms here but we'll show you that later on. If your roof panels are longer than 10 but shorter than 12 meters we'll show you uh, how you put an additional extension arm. So the roof pads come off and a second extension arm is put on to the machine each side. Again, pinned in, into position. We'll explain about how the extension uh, arm suction, uh, suction hoses are connected through the machine. The roof cross arm, again, is put on the end of the second extension. So now you've got the suction pads approximately four and a half meters apart. And that configuration is suitable for panels up to 12 meters long. And the final configuration we'll show you, which will go beyond 12 up to 14 meters long. Again, you need a third extension bar on each side of the machine. Again, pins and locked into position and the roof cross arms with the suction pads finally go on the end of the third bar at each end. And now your suction pads are approximately 6.4 meters apart and that configuration is suitable for roof panels, standard roof panels up to approximately 14 meters long. So that is the three configurations that are possible with a basic uh, machine without the use of chain suspension sets and we'll send to site the appropriate number of extension arms to suit the panels you're lifting. So we're just going to now strip that back down to the basic roof set. Roof cross arms go on the end of one extension beam on either side of the machine to give a, an approximate pad separation of two and a half meters. And then as mentioned earlier, the secondary safety strap goes on the end of the last extension beam. And that's the same whether you've got a, uh, an extended configuration or the basic configuration. So all the components need to be pinned and locked into position with the R clips. Then you need to connect the suction pad hoses 
on when the machine arrives on site, all the four uh, vacuum outlets are blanked off with blanking plugs. Just remove those by pushing them up, pull the collar down and slide them off. And the hoses can be clicked through from the suction pads all the way through to the machine. All the couplings are on uh, just quick release. To put them together, you just click them together so you hear a positive click and they're located. And to remove them, squeeze them together, pull the collar and pull them apart. So you've got the suction pads and the extension arms pinned and locked into position. You've got the safety straps at each end of the machine. You've got the, ho the hoses uh, connected to the machine all the way from the suction pads along the extension arms to the actual machine. And that assembly is uh, repeated whether you've got the, um, whichever the t of the three configurations you've got, and it's best to assemb assemble this machine when it's in its cradle in this position. So I'm going to stop this video and we're going to restart with a small video telling you about the features of the machine.